What is a 401k retirement plan? So we're going to get into all the basic concepts of a 401k and help you get a better understanding of it. If you want more in depth on, you know, retirement plans and how to utilize different strategies, we have a ton of other content on this channel that goes into this. But this video here today, we're going to get into just the basics of what a 401k is. Knowing the basics really, it's the most important thing, right? Everybody thinks, oh, I need to know this fancy concept or this fancy way of planning or it's the basics, right? We call it the blocking and tackling. What's so good about a 401k plan is if you're working for somebody, they're going to take based on whatever your numbers are, a percentage of your salary and they're automatically going to take that before you ever get the money in your bank account and they're going to send it directly to the 401k. So this is your contribution level and you can set that at a percentage of your salary or you can say, hey, take $200 per pay out of my paycheck or whatever that number is for you. And that's how you get started with the 401k and you create that savings, right? And that's how it compounds and grows because this is a systematic way of saving money. You can put in up to a certain amount and those limits are constantly changing, right? So every year it's probably a new limit. Right now, if you're watching this video, it's probably around 19,500, um, but that number is always subject to change. So what that means is that almost $20,000 of your income can be put right into that 401k. And generally, if this is a traditional 401k, you're putting that money away pre-tax. What that means is you have not paid tax on that money in that year. And when you take a distribution after 59 and a half, when you take those distributions, you will then be taxed on that distribution at whatever your income tax rate is. Also, another benefit that is associated with 401ks is the employer match. Now, not every 401k has an employer match. Not every employer is so generous. But for most 401k plans that are out there today, the employers are offering some sort of match. Generally, that would be somewhere in the range of 3 to 6%. Some might give more. But let's just say it's 3%. So what do they mean by that match? If you are putting in 3% of your salary, so let's pretend you make $100,000, you're putting away 3%, that's $3,000, your employer is going to match that contribution and they're also going to put in $3,000 for you. Now, if you put in more, if you put in four, five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000, your employer is still going to match you, but they're only going to put in up to 3%, which is that $3,000. So it's something to consider, right? Do you want to save above and beyond the match? Is that part of your savings goal? Are you going to the match and taking advantage of what they would call free money, right? This is the benefit your employer is giving you. You want to at least, if you're offered a 401k, and it makes sense in your budget to put in up to the match, I would say that that's something you need to seriously consider because that's going to help accelerate your account and your growth long term as your savings goal is retirement. Those are the basics of a 401k. It's pretty simple and honestly the 401k is just the titling of an account right? It's part of the tax code and it says how that money will be taxed and how you're deferring it to a later date in the future and all the sorts of different rules that come around with it. Certain things to consider, you want to think about how soon will I need money, right? If I'm saving for a house and I need access to that money in the first couple of years, 401k is probably not the right place to save, right? Because you don't really have access to that money. You might be able to take a loan against those dollars, but is that the most efficient way to do it? And then on top of that, 
if you don't take a loan and you take distributions from your 401k and you're less than 59 and a half years old, again, another number that's subject to change, but if you're less than 59 and a half and you're taking distributions from that 401k, not only will you pay taxes, but you will also pay a 10% penalty. A lot of great benefits, some drawbacks, just like any other financial product that's out there. So there's a lot to consider when doing it, but it's a very simple plan to get started. You sign up with your employer if they're offering one and a great way to get that ball rolling and get that savings habit started towards retirement. So YouTube loves comments and it really doesn't matter what you put in there, just commenting in general helps put us out there in the YouTube ecosystem and helps the algorithm find us and promotes our, our, our channel. And we're trying to grow it. So what I would ask is, have you started a 401k? If you have or haven't, comment yes or no, right in, in the comment section. Let us know, have you started one? Have you not started one? Is it something you're thinking about?